this might actually be a quick video. I'm not going to be on this topic too long. Just want to make a quick statement or give my quick opinion or my views on this defunding of the police. Now, Black Lives Matter and Antifa, and then you got some people that really don't know what's going on. They're just out there protesting to feel good. You know, they feel good being a part of something. They just want to be able to say, I was out there protesting. I was there. I hear so many black people on Facebook and mainly on YouTube arguing back and forth saying, I was there. I was out there. You weren't out there. The conscious community weren't out there. And all of these internet warriors behind the keyboard, you weren't out there, but I was. But like I mentioned in a past video, no changes are really being made. You're just allowed to release a lot of hot air, a lot of tension, a lot of hostility and anger because you've been locked in the house for so long with coronavirus. But when it comes to Minneapolis and these Democrat states, because it's mainly the Democrat states that's asking to defund police, this is what I think should happen. And it's only my opinion. I think they should give the people what they want. If the people want the police defunded, if they want to get rid of police or deactivate police, these Democrat states should allow it. As a matter of fact, put it on trial. Shut the police station down. Let those officers go on maybe a month vacation. Just deactivate the police for about a month. Just a month. And then you'd see if they really want to defund or get rid of police. Just give them a month. Even when they start crying out help us and there's no one here to protect us because it's interesting that you have black females that's already saying regarding black men that they have no one to protect them. But now you're asking to defund or better yet deactivate law enforcement. The same people you call when someone is kicking down your door. The same person that's molesting a child or the same persons that you call when you're being raped or abused or when someone is sick or lose their life or when you're having problems with your boyfriend, your baby daddy, your husband, your next door neighbor. You quickly call the police when you feel your life is in danger. But if police is deactivated, who are you going to call? So I think that Minneapolis should give the people what they want because black people, like always, have false hope. Black people now are feeling empowered. And if you don't remember anything that I say in this video, remember this. The so-called white man is not going to give up power just that quick to you. Let me repeat that again. The so-called white man is just not going to give up power and control just like that. Just because you burned down some buildings or just because you were looting and just because you were attacking police and destroying businesses and property, setting cars on fire, with the help of Antifa, does not mean that you have power. Now, I watched that mayor in Minneapolis go 
through what they call the walk of shame because he didn't agree with defunding police. You had a black female that was on the loudspeaker and she really felt empowered. But black people forget where you are. You are behind enemy lines. And just because you burn up vehicles and destroy businesses and attack cops, they allow you to do that. And now you have all of these politicians that had nothing to do with you in the past. All of a sudden they're coming to the rescue and they're with you and they're uh, supporting the protests for political reasons. And once they get what they want, it's back to normal. But like I mentioned in the prior video, you forget about Black Wall Street. All they really need to do is fly a couple of crop planes over the hood where you live. And you don't know what they're spraying out of those planes. They can poison your water. But yet you really think that you're in power and you really think that they're going to turn power over to you. See, that mayor was weak. And I believe that Minneapolis will become like that city where they had the riots. What is that place called? Um, uh, just had a brain fart. I hadn't been asleep. So maybe that's the reason why I can't remember. Uh, Baltimore. Minneapolis, if it's not already, will become another Baltimore. Remember when the police kind of slowed down from answering calls and the residents in Baltimore, when they needed the police, the police wasn't there for them and they started experiencing all types or better yet, a heightened amount of crime. So I think that in these democratic states, give the people what they want. If they want the police defunded, allow the police to go on break or vacation for a month, just a month, only a month. Do not answer any calls at all. And when someone is kicking down their door, and they decide to call 911, or better yet, 911 shouldn't answer because they're connected with law enforcement. 911 should respond and say, Oh, someone's kicking in your door? I'll pray for you. I'll keep you in prayer. And I hope you remain safe. So give the people what they want. If they want the police defunded in these democratic states, because keep in mind, while you crying to defund police in your neighborhoods, and black people know how dangerous it is in their neighborhoods, in the hood, those wealthy politicians are gonna have armed security that they can afford to pay for. Trust me, they have guns protecting them. But yet you're crying to have the guns that protect you. Now, there are a few bad cops out there. All cops are not bad. Just like all black people are bad or all white people are not bad. So instead of calling for these laws to be changed and instead of calling for these cops to be held responsible or accountable when they turn corrupt, you're talking about defund them. Stop paying for law enforcement. In other words, deactivate them. You don't need them. So give the people what they want. If they want law enforcement defunded, give them what they want just for a month. And they will be begging for law enforcement to protect them. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Click on the Cash App link 
and support this channel. Now, if YouTube, because YouTube, uh, I'm under their, their scope. So I'm being shadow banned. So if YouTube happens to remove this video, of course, the link to my WordPress is on the bottom. And I will upload this on WordPress as well. And you can watch it. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time. I'm fearless.